Li Changqing traveled through time and became a student who had just passed the imperial examination. He thought it was a feudal ancient society, but he found that the world was a bit strange. To the north, there were foreign kings crossing the sea and pushing the human world for 80,000 miles, causing the faces of various experts to turn pale. To the south, there is a woman in red who has become an immortal in the human world, and 3,000 green threads have rolled up 3,000 worlds. There are Taoist priests in purple playing in the world, and there are rebels from Laying Temple who commit crimes. Even stronger people argue with their old friends, standing tall in the sky for 800 years, and their cultivation is not in the mortal world. And because of his handsome appearance, he was praised by the imperial concubine, which displeased the emperor. He was sent to the Hanlin Academy to be responsible for compiling royal history books. But fortunately, after crossing the river, he had an incredible understanding and was able to turn things around in one fell swoop, learn by analogy, and gain insight into everything. You have read about exotic mountains and rivers, imagined the vastness of the Great River, understood the surging river, and created the Great River Sword Technique, you delve deeply into Taoist scriptures and create the Five Elements Talisman, the Mad Wind Technique, the Rain Character Technique, and the Five Thunder Mantra. So and so, he hid in the small building and became unified, regardless of winter, summer, and spring. Until many years later, the sky on earth became chaotic, immortals descended to earth, demons danced in chaos, and the people were in dire straits. He walked out of the Hanlin Academy and opened the sky with one sword. From then on, heaven returns to heaven, and earth returns to earth. Keywords of the Novel Understanding against heaven. I create invincible methods in the Hanlin Academy without pop-ups, understanding against heaven. I create invincible methods in the Hanlin Academy. Download the complete set of TXT. Understanding against heaven. I create invincible methods in the Hanlin Academy. Read the latest chapter on creating invincible methods. 1. Chapter 1. Your understanding is against heaven. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. The source has no content or has errors. 2. Chapter 2. The Realm of Acquired Knowledge. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2 Acquired Realm Li Changqing didn't expect that by reading seriously, he had activated his rebellious intelligence and comprehended the 13 sabers of murder, I can practice now, Li Changqing was overjoyed. The predecessor has proven that reading is useless in this world and requires cultivation. Moreover, practicing martial arts can extend one's lifespan. It is said that a martial saint can live for 500 years, which is a great temptation for Li Changqing. Anyway, I will be studying history for 20 years at the Hanlin Academy next, so I can quietly practice and improve myself. Li Changqing thought to himself and immediately felt full of motivation. At the same time, a large memory emerged in Li Changqing's mind. He closed his eyes and saw a hundred battle general, wielding a long sword, fighting on the battlefield, honing his body and sharpening his sword skills. Li Changqing saw his execution of the thirteen killing sabers, which was extremely fierce with each move. He comprehended all the mysteries of the thirteen killers. The next second, Li Changqing opened his eyes and began to meditate, absorbing the spiritual energy of heaven and earth into his body. Hanlin Academy is so leisurely, especially in a very remote place where the elders rarely come here. Due to his rebellious nature, his cultivation goes smoothly without any obstacles. He has fully understood the thirteen sabers of murder, and now his cultivation is simply natural. Activate the spiritual energy of heaven and earth and infuse it into the body. Then open up the tendons and meridians, forming a cycle of internal and external circulation. It takes at least a few months to six months for ordinary people with cultivation talents to step over the step of qi cultivation, but now Li Changqing only has one afternoon, in an afternoon, the first step of martial arts was to introduce qi into the body, forming the Zhou Tian. He had already completed it. Looking at the dim sky outside, Li Changqing wrote about Zhou Yun's brief life in history books. My family was poor, and I joined the army at the border. 
I fought bravely and rose up all the way, guarding the border for twenty years. Later, I died in battle under the command of the Hunyuan Wusheng in the North Mang region. Zhou Yun's life was so wonderful, but when summarized in historical books, it's just one sentence. And because His Majesty is still alive, the reason why he died in battle cannot be written, and this sentence will eventually be included in the royal history book. Li Changqing looked at the thick book recording Zhou Yun's life on the side, and only then did he understand the weight of historical books by reading the sentence he had written. The few words in history are their entire lives. Of course, after Li Changqing finished writing, he submitted it to the supervisory adults for review, but Zhou Yun was not very powerful or had a significant background among the 800-year-old members of the entire Zhou royal family. This statement is likely not to be changed. After finishing all of this, Li Changqing packed all the books and got up to leave the main hall. The Hanlin Academy was very quiet at night, and Li Changqing walked back to his cabin according to his memory. He set up his own courtyard near the Hanlin Academy, which was not very large, but it was a place to settle in the capital of the Zhou dynasty, where every inch of land was precious. After leaving the Hanlin Academy and walking for less than a quarter of an hour, Li Changqing saw this small courtyard. This is a slightly chilly street with many courtyards along the way, inhabited by the historians of the Hanlin Academy. The courtyards are divided into different sizes according to their official positions. Li Changqing was assigned a courtyard of three small houses. Pushing the door in, there is still a peach tree in the yard. Of course, during this season, the leaves have fallen and are bare. The yard was cleaned very clean by the original owner, and there were not many items in the room. When the previous historian left, he brought it very clean. The original owner was in a bad mood before and only cleaned it up, without purchasing any other items. In my past life, how many lifetimes would I have to work hard to have such a courtyard in the imperial capital? Li Changqin was very satisfied with this courtyard, which may seem small to others, but he didn't think it was more than enough to live alone. He's too old to clean. Taking some water from the well in the yard, Li Changqin took a comfortable bath and then began to focus on his cultivation. All Zhou Yun's understanding of the 13 killers was in Li Changqin's mind, and he wished he could practice every moment. In the afternoon, it was already Sunday, and now Li Changqing is very relaxed in guiding Qi into the body. True Qi was wandering through the meridians in his body, and Li Changqing seemed to hear the sound of a big sword fighting, accompanied by waves of killing Qi, which led him into this artistic conception. His realm is rapidly improving. Time is also rapidly passing by. Injecting qi into the body, once the circumference of the heavens is fully rounded, a dantian is formed in the lower abdomen, and then enters the realm of postnatal martial artists. Late night, early morning. Li Changqing infused all his true energy into his lower abdomen and smoothly broke through the shackles of the dantian, with a rolling influx of true energy. He reached the realm of the day after tomorrow. One afternoon and one evening, Li Changqing broke through to the realm of the day after tomorrow. This is the incredible power of understanding. Practice actually starts from the acquired realm, and the previous practice of cultivating qi was just paving the way. The postnatal realm is divided into three levels. Practicing meat, practicing bones, and practicing marrow. These three realms are about tormenting the body, making the body stronger, in order to go further. So I need to exercise my body well. Li Changqing was not arrogant or complacent. He looked at the scene of Zhou Yun's practice and knew that he still had a lot to do. He is not in a hurry either. Anyway, he has plenty of time to study history in the Hanlin Academy, and there is no danger yet. He can gradually improve himself. After all, this is a world of cultivation, and in my memory, there are still sex, aristocratic families, Taoist schools, Buddhas, demonic sects, overseas forces, and the vast wilderness of the north it can be said that it is a dangerous battle, with a chance of death. It's better to have a Hanlin Academy, quiet and free, with no one taking it seriously or bothering. 
The foolish emperor punished him for studying history for twenty years, thinking it was torture, but in Li Changqing's eyes, the imperial capital and Hanlin Academy at this moment are really the best place. And if he continues to study history books and read various characters, will he activate his understanding and defy the heavens? Li Changqing is looking forward to it. After a night of practice, the sky had already broken, and Li Changqing was not tired, but instead full of energy. He tidied up, washed and rubbed yesterday's clothes, hung them in the yard, and then walked out onto the street. At this moment, there are already many small businesses and vendors waking up early to sell on the street. In my memory, although the great Zhou dynasty was turbulent and unstable, with constant natural and man-made disasters outside. Today, your majesty is also greedy for pleasure and disregards court affairs, but the imperial capital is still prosperous. Li Changqing found a relatively clean shop and ate a bowl of noodles. After eating bowl noodles, he went to the Hanlin Academy and presented the evaluation about Zhou Yun that he wrote yesterday. As expected, the elderly man only glanced and agreed to write it in the royal history book. Then, he waved his hand and sent Li Changqing to continue studying history. There was not a single sentence throughout. Li Changqing is quite satisfied with such a leader, not nitpicking, not talking nonsense, not interfering, it's simply not too good. He returned to yesterday's main hall and picked up other books to read. For 800 years since the founding of the Zhou dynasty, there were countless descendants of the imperial family, and even if one in 10,000 became successful, the number was extremely terrifying. End of this chapter Chapter 3 The Prince of the Northern Realm Reverses You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 The Prince of the Northern Realm Reverses The Hall was filled with books, and Li Changqing picked up a biography to read. This book also records the royal relatives of the Zhou dynasty. To be honest, during the 800 years since the founding of the Zhou dynasty, those royal relatives had multiplied for countless generations without any pressure. With the support of the royal family, they risked their lives to marry, take concubines, and have children. In this vast imperial capital, six out of ten people are related to the royal family when a brick is smashed. So those who can have their own biographies and be recorded in the royal history of the Zhou dynasty are all talented individuals. This biography records a strong man. How strong is it? Li Changqing saw in the book that he was a great master of martial arts at the age of twenty, practicing the orthodox imperial martial arts of the great Zhou dynasty, known as the great Zhou Wujing. This, Great Zhou Martial Scripture, was compiled by Emperor Taizu after he ascended the throne and collected all the martial arts from the world, along with the nine major human martial saints. It is the most orthodox way of cultivation, with detailed techniques for each realm, and it is a top-dot-notch and systematic practice. As long as one has high talent and sufficient resources, there will be no obstacles on the path of cultivation. As soon as the Great Zhou Martial Scripture was born, it was cherished by the royal family. Only members of the royal family had the opportunity to practice, and ordinary people could not even pry into it. The strong man in this book can cultivate, indicating a good background. Compared to him, Zhou Yun is simply too miserable. Li Changqing reads carefully. The person in the book is called Weekly, born forty years ago as the youngest son of the Northern Realm Prince. His mother was the daughter of a wealthy family and was born at the end of many people's lives. So he can directly practice the great Zhou Martial Classic. Practicing Qi at the age of five, acquired at the age of eight, born at the age of ten, a master at the age of fifteen, and a great master at the age of twenty. Amazing talent. The elderly members of the Zhou royal family were extremely excited and promoted extensively. He is hailed as the hope for the future of the Zhou dynasty, the perfect candidate for the throne, and the youngest human martial saint of the Zhou dynasty. But when he was traveling at the age of twenty, he was suddenly killed and came to an abrupt end. This incident caused a huge uproar back then. At that time, the great Zhou dynasty was not as turbulent as it is now, nor had it experienced the great defeat of Beimang. 
The imperial afterglow was still there, and the old members of the royal family were furious when they learned that the most talented heir of the great Zhou royal family had been killed. Countless experts have left the imperial capital, searching for clues everywhere in the martial arts world. If there is any suspicion, kill first and then find evidence. After several years of noisy activity, there was still no news of the culprit. The cultivation world began to rebound and was dissatisfied with the killing of innocent people by the Zhou royal family. Only then did this matter slowly calm down. After reading these contents, Li Changqing murmured softly, You're such a genius who still promotes things. You're really not afraid of others coming to kill you. Trees are beautiful in the forest, and the wind will surely destroy them. You have read the weekly magazine throughout your life, and you are very serious, activating your understanding and going against the sky, you have an incredible understanding, become addicted to it, and comprehend the great Zhou martial arts classic. Suddenly, two paragraphs appeared before Li Changqing, who was pleasantly surprised to see them. At the same time, the De Zhou Wu Jing turned into a torrent of memory and rushed into Li Changqing's mind. Li Changqing closed his eyes and examined this memory. Having a rebellious understanding means being powerful. From now on, I can major in the Great Zhou Martial Arts Classic and use the 13 Killing Sabers as a means to suppress the enemy's attacks and easily refrain from using them. After reading the story in the weekly magazine, Li Changqing felt that he needed to hide his foolishness and not hide his sharpness, just hold on to it. Just as Li Changqing was about to practice the great Zhou Wu Jing, Zhou Wei hurriedly ran over. What happened, so anxious? Li Changqing asked. Just now, the northern prince of the northern territory rebelled and raised 200,000 soldiers to force the court to give an explanation, Zhou Wei gasped for breath and exclaimed in shock. Li Changqing frowned and said, Prince of the Northern Realm, isn't this the father of the weekly magazine he just read? The Prince of the Northern Realm is over a hundred years old and has been guarding the northern region for fifty years. How could he suddenly turn around? Li Changqing asked in confusion. After gasping for breath, Zhou Wei said in a low voice, I just heard from the adults in charge that the court is particularly nervous now, and the imperial capital has been strictly controlled. The prince of the northern realm has really turned around. He wants to speak up for his youngest son. What's the point? Li Changqing exclaimed in surprise. Isn't weakly dead for twenty years? Zhou Wei sat down and said, Twenty years ago, the youngest son of the prince of the northern realm was assassinated, and he couldn't find the culprit. It was a stir and eventually came to an end, but the prince of the northern realm didn't give up. He had been searching for the culprit. Not long ago, he received important evidence that the mastermind behind the assassination of his youngest son was the current emperor. In a fit of anger, he rebelled and went to the imperial capital in the northern realm, demanding that the emperor pay for his youngest son's life. Li Changqing was greatly shocked after listening. The truth is that the most talented heir of the Zhou royal family was actually assassinated by the current incompetent emperor. Upon careful consideration, if someone were not sent to assassinate him, he would not be able to ascend to that throne. Unexpectedly, Li Changqing thought of Zhou Yun. He, like the weekly magazine, is a genius with the hope of breaking through the world's martial saint, but he died because of this incompetent emperor. If both of them are still here, twenty years have passed, perhaps there will be two more human martial saints in De Zhou. Li Changqing asked, what is the current situation outside? Zhou Wei took a sip of tea and whispered, the army in the northern region is unstoppable, and local officials along the way have surrendered. His army has suddenly expanded to 400000, and the fastest one month later, it will be under the imperial capital. Li Changqing blinked and said, is this great Zhou going to have a new emperor? I don't know, there is still a human martial saint in this imperial capital who supports the current emperor. Zhou Wei shook his head. Li Changqing was speechless and had only traveled for the second day when he encountered something like this. Fortunately, he was in the Hanlin Academy and the external turmoil did not affect him here. Li Changqing couldn't help but think, 
if he really wanted to change emperors and the northern prince ascended to the throne, wouldn't he be the elder of the two dynasties? The prince of the northern realm is also getting older. When he dies or abdicates, will he not be an old minister of the three dynasties? Thinking about it this way, Li Changqing almost didn't get nervous. Zhou Wei said, anyway, don't wander around recently. Just stay at the Hanlin Academy with peace of mind. There will be a tall person standing on top of it when the sky falls. Li Changqing nodded and thanked Zhou Wei for his reminder. Then I'll continue to inquire about the latest developments and let you know immediately. Zhou Wei left, he was very concerned about the outside world. After such a big incident, the people in the Hanlin Academy were in a state of panic, and no one focused on studying history. Li Changqing saw this and fled back to his own yard to start practicing the great Zhou Martial Scripture. As for the ups and downs outside, they have nothing to do with him. Changing emperors does not affect his ability to study history in the Hanlin Academy. It's better to practice more for a while and complete the tempering of the triple heaven of the acquired realm as soon as possible. Li Changqing also found that with the existence of the great Zhou Martial Classic, the cultivation of the acquired realm became simpler. It is indeed the essence extracted from the martial arts of the world, which is totally different from the extreme killing like the 13 Killing Sabers. Li Changqing silently practiced meat, bones, and marrow. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Manxiang Cultivation Method You are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 4 Manxiang Cultivation Method The rebellion of the prince of the northern territory triggered a huge reaction. In the morning, Li Changqing went out. The bustling streets of yesterday have now been strictly prohibited, with occasional military patrols. The small vendors who set up stalls have disappeared, and Li Changqing cannot buy food. He can only go to the Hanlin Academy on an empty stomach. Entering the Hanlin Academy, the tense atmosphere outside suddenly disappeared. Most of the people here were elderly literati who persisted in the academy day after day for decades. Apart from compiling historical books and literature, they had no choice but to deal with the rebellion outside. So Hanlin Academy is very quiet. But Li Changqing found that although everyone looked very quiet, most of them were heavy-hearted. Although they seemed to be studying history, they actually sat there in a daze. Including the major registers, each one is burdened with heavy worries. It is obvious that they are worried about the national fortune of Zhou, after all, the rebellion of the northern prince came quickly and urgently. In a short period of time, it sparked a storm, and countless people responded. Perhaps it was really successful. Can these elderly people still have their current position? Li Changqing did not have this concern. He holds the lowest official position and has no room for decline. He also has no sense of belonging to the Zhou Empire, and anyone who becomes an emperor has nothing to do with him. Even Li Changqing hopes that the northern prince will successfully rebel and bring down the current incompetent emperor. Arriving at the side hall, Li Changqing also began to fish. Now he is paying attention to the prince of the northern realm, and no one really cares what he is doing. He continued to practice the great Zhou Wu Jing, refining his physical body, strengthening his bones, and exercising his bone marrow. Throughout the morning, Li Changqing practiced the great Zhou martial scripture several times to strengthen his body. At noon, he felt hungry and ran to the back kitchen of the Hanlin Academy to eat several large bowls of rice before finally stopping his hunger. Practicing martial arts not only requires martial arts techniques, but also requires pairing with food, especially meat and fish. It is essential for early growth of qi and blood. Ordinary children who want to practice martial arts cannot be satisfied with just eating this skill, Li Changqing sighed. Fortunately, he is in the Hanlin Academy. Although his official position is not large, he is responsible for food and accommodation. Otherwise, relying solely on his monthly salary of five tails of silver, he would have spent a few days eating and drinking. After eating and drinking enough, Li Changqing returned to the side hall and continued to fish and practice martial arts. Until the evening of the afternoon, 
Li Changqing spent the whole day fishing, preparing to clock in and go back to continue practicing martial arts. Zhou Wei is here. Li Changqing immediately stopped and poured tea for Zhou Wei, then looked at him eagerly. Zhou Wei is his only network in this world. If Zhou Wei doesn't come, Li Changqing's channels for obtaining external information will be completely cut off. What news did you get today? Li Changqing asked curiously. Zhou Wei took a sip of tea and said, Now all kinds of news are going around. The prince of the northern border has crossed the Yellow River and is coming to the imperial capital. People's hearts are in turmoil. Aristocratic families, clans, and frontier fortress troops are all seething with chaos. So chaotic, the court has no action. Li Changqing asked. Zhou Weidao said, Of course there is. An old senior in the royal family, who is the uncle of the Northern Realm Prince, personally went to persuade him to stop, but you know what happened. Without hesitation, Li Changqing said, Since there is a rebellion, it cannot be stopped. There is no half of the rebellion. Zhou Wei nodded and said, That's right. The uncle of the northern prince was directly beheaded and sent to the imperial capital to be given to our emperor. It is said that the emperor was so angry that he cursed the unruly officials and thieves. Li Changqing sneered in his heart. He only ascended to the throne after assassinating his son. What qualifications does he have to call a rebellious minister and thief? Zhou Wei also said some news, without exception, which was not good news for the Zhou court. I'll continue to gather information, you wait for me to bring you the freshest first.hand news. Zhou Wei finished speaking and left. Li Changqing watched him leave and found that Zhou Wei seemed to be addicted to it, paying more attention than anyone else. It was unclear whether it was his natural inclination to gossip or if there were any hidden secrets. But it has nothing to do with him. He is a qualified listener who listens to the distractions outside and doesn't pay attention to anything else. Of course, if the foolish Emperor Zhou dies, he will still be very happy. Other things, Li Changqing is not very concerned. He returned to the small courtyard and continued practicing martial arts. Day after day. Never stop. Seven days have passed. Li Changqing has made significant progress every day. Although these seven days have not activated his rebellious intellect, for him, the gains from these seven days are still significant. He practiced meat, bones, and marrow to perfection. In the secluded hall of the Hanlin Academy, where no one was interested, Li Changqing kept practicing martial arts. The outside world was chaotic, and Zhou Wei would come every day to tell Li Changqing some fresh news. Wherever the Prince of the Northern Realm hits today, he will come down at the mercy of the wind. The Emperor of Zhou was angry. The army under the command of the Northern Prince has exceeded 500,000. The Emperor of Zhou became angry in the court. The Prince of the Northern Realm shouted to the Minister of Civil and Military Affairs to hand over the foolish ruler. The Emperor of Zhou was furious and killed a group of wavering ministers. These things made Li Changqing happy. The Prince of the Northern Realm was as imposing as a rainbow, and the army was overwhelming. This Emperor of the Great Zhou would only be angry. Li Changqing's source of happiness every day is listening to Zhou Wei's inquiry after his practice is over. It was another dusk when Li Changqing finished his practice, brewed tea, and waited. In no time, Zhou Wei arrived and took a sip of tea, saying, I just received news that the North Mang army has invaded the border under the leadership of Hun Yuan Wusheng. The border is in a state of emergency, and I am seeking help from the court. Li Changqing was surprised and said, Bei Mang hasn't launched a war for many years. How could it be so coincidental? Zhou Wei whispered, Now everyone says it's the Northern Prince colluding with the Northern Mang, making it impossible for hundreds of thousands of troops from the north to come back and rescue them. Li Changqing nodded and said, It's quite possible. How did the emperor respond? Li Changqing asked with a smile. He. He got angry again in the court today and executed several eunuchs. 
Now he dare not kill his ministers, Zhou Wei said with a hint of sarcasm. He also has no regard for this emperor of Zhou. It seems that there will be a new emperor this time. With a large army pressing on the border, our emperor has nothing to do, Li Changqing muttered. I also think it's highly likely to be changed, Zhou Wei nodded and agreed. Let's continue exploring, I'll go back first. Li Changqing looked at the sky and waved goodbye to Zhou Wei. In the past few days of practicing martial arts, he has gained a lot of insights. These insights have accumulated together and are constantly brewing, as if he is about to erupt. Returning to the yard, Li Changqing began practicing martial arts. The Great Zhou Martial Arts Classic is a comprehensive book of martial arts techniques, including fist techniques, sword techniques, sword techniques, as well as physical and spiritual cultivation techniques. It is an encyclopedia. Li Changqing is currently practicing the method of physical cultivation, refining the body, exercising strength, and transforming the bone marrow. Over the past seven days of continuous pounding, Li Changqing has become familiar with the practice of physical body cultivation. He wants to temper his physical body to the strength of ancient barbarians. During this period of time, he also occasionally read books during his intervals of cultivation. He saw in the books that ancient barbarians stood tall and could fight against real dragons with invincible physical bodies. That's why he came up with such an idea and put it into action. After all, the physical body is the foundation of everything, and the stronger the physical body, the stronger its strength. You diligently practice the physical body cultivation method, which serves as the cornerstone to activate your understanding and defy the heavens. Your understanding is contrary to heaven, and you have a clear understanding of the principles of physical cultivation. You have created the elephant body method just as Li Changqing was practicing hard, two lines of characters appeared in front of him. He realized the Manxiang cultivation method. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 Martial Saints Attack You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Martial Saints Attack The Manxiang cultivation method is different from the previous cultivation method obtained by Li Changqing through his rebellious understanding. The Thirteen Sabers of Murder and the Great Zhou Martial Arts Classic are both pre-existing martial arts techniques created by predecessors. Li Changqing simply imitated a cat and drew a tiger, practicing them step by step. But the Manxiang cultivation method was completely understood by him, born from ancient Manxiang, and has surpassed the physical cultivation method in the Great Zhou Wu Jing. Li Changqing immediately began practicing this technique, honing his physical body in the dark and gaining the power of the barbarian elephant. His qi and blood surged and oscillated, washing out impurities inside, making his blood more concentrated and flowing throughout his body's meridians. Qi and blood, like essence and wolf smoke, emanated from around Li Changqing's body, forming a unique aura. He moved and remained still, with a full posture, calm like a wild elephant, running like thunder. In the second half of the night, with a loud roar, Li Changqing's blood and energy began to explode, boiling and slowly condensing into an ancient barbarian elephant. He raised himself to the sky and let out a silent roar, stepping on the void with a majestic momentum. Under the savage elephant, Li Changqing stood tall, sweating profusely, but showed a relaxed expression. He has achieved perfection in his cultivation of the acquired realm. With all his strength, he gathered an ancient barbarian elephant. People in the same realm could be killed with a single punch by Li Changqing. He is invincible in the acquired realm. Looking at the ancient elephant he had gathered, Li Changqing smiled happily. And the ancient barbarian elephant with condensed qi and blood slowly dissipated, and the extremely rich qi and blood were taken back into Li Changqing's body. He walked to the well to fetch water, poured it on his body, washed away sweat stains, and exposed his muscles. In just a short period of time, he went from a weak scholar to a smooth muscular scholar. Next, the innate realm. Li Changqing's gaze was clear and full of confidence. He is very satisfied with the current pace of life. He is fishing and practicing in the Hanlin Academy, without any enemies, 
and has a rebellious understanding. As long as he is given some time, his innate realm is not a problem at all. After Li Changqing finished washing up, he washed his clothes, cleaned the yard, and began to meditate and practice. He didn't wake up until the rooster crowed in the morning. Then prepare to report to the Hanlin Academy. It's another day of fishing. After entering the Hanlin Academy, Li Changqing walked slowly, his eyes constantly looking around. The Hanlin Academy is very large, with many literati responsible for different things. History revision is only a small part, and no one asks about it on a daily basis. In today's Hanlin Academy, except for Li Changqing, everyone else was in a hurry and had a serious expression. It was obvious that what was happening outside still affected these literati. Upon careful consideration, it can be understood that not everyone can be like Li Changqing, indifferent to fame and fortune, only wanting to study history in the Hanlin Academy, and having no sense of belonging to the Zhou dynasty. The most ideal for literati is to govern the country, ensure the stability of their families, and establish the world. It's just this world, it's the world of practitioners. Li Changqing strolled all the way to his side hall, where he fished and worked, ate at midnight, meditated in the afternoon to exercise, and prepared to pack his things and go home in the evening. A simple and unadorned day passed like this. Today, Zhou Wei did not bring any fresh news about him, and Li Changqing was not in a hurry. He returned to the small courtyard and began to work hard to cultivate. Although he has an incredible understanding, he still firmly believes that diligence can make him more perfect. Practice martial arts, meditate, swallow the spiritual energy of heaven and earth, strengthen the body, and pass the night so easily. In the morning when the sun came out, Li Changqing changed his clothes and went out. Unexpectedly, he found that the strict regulations in the imperial capital had been relaxed. Someone was selling breakfast on the street, and Li Changqing walked over to buy some, filling his stomach and asking the boss if he knew what was going on. The boss said he didn't know, but he informed them last night that they could come out and do business. Other things are not something that ordinary people like them can know. Li Changqing was lost in thought. He didn't know what had happened, but it didn't matter. After breakfast, he immediately went to the Hanlin Academy to find his only source of intelligence in this world. Zhou Wei Why did the imperial capital lift its ban today? Li Changqing asked directly. Zhou Wei looked left and right, then whispered, Don't you know? Didn't you tell me all the information I knew, said Li Changqing. Zhou Weila pulled Li Changqing aside and said, The lifting of the imperial capital's ban is due to the rebellion of the northern prince, which has completely ended. What does it mean? Li Changqing raised a question mark. Literally, the northern realm prince rebelled. The northern realm prince had a great momentum, and he had a strong chance of winning. The northern realm prince died, the northern army was defeated, and the rebellion was over. Zhou Wei pursed his lips and said uninteresting. Has the prince of the northern realm died? Li Changqing exclaimed in surprise. Yeah, just yesterday, in front of everyone, he died. Zhou Wei nodded. Although the prince of the northern realm has died, those armies have not expanded to over 500,000, and he still has descendants who can inherit the throne. How could they fall apart in an instant? Li Changqing asked. You don't know how the Northern Realm Prince died, Zhou Wei said. How did you die? Li Changqing asked curiously. A sword aura flew out from the depths of the imperial capital, spanning thousands of miles, and in front of hundreds of thousands of soldiers, directly beheaded the Northern Realm Prince. Even though there were many experts around him, no one could resist. In front of everyone's eyes, those experts who were invited by the Northern Realm Prince with a large sum of money had a black face, Zhou Wei said. A sword aura flying out of the imperial capital, in front of countless experts, beheaded the Prince of the Northern Realm. Who did this? Li Changqing's face changed and he asked in surprise. There are very few people in the entire Zhou Empire who can do this and they have flown out of the imperial capital to help the current emperor overcome his siege. You don't have to guess, Zhou Wei said. 
He is the mortal martial saint of the Zhou Empire. Li Changqing said in a deep voice. Yes, the martial saint of the human world, separated by a thousand miles, wields a sword aura that sees others as worthless and slays a prince. Zhou Wei shook his head inside, feeling too powerful to resist. Why would that human martial saint support the current emperor? Li Changqing couldn't help but wonder. A human martial saint couldn't fail to see that the current emperor was a completely incompetent ruler. Under his rule, the great Zhou dynasty was deteriorating and there were signs of national downfall, but he continued to support it. Who knows, anyway, when the prince of the northern territory died, his sons immediately began to compete for power. Some surrendered, some fled, and some returned to the northern territory with their troops. The rebellion came to an end in a chaotic manner. Therefore, the imperial capital lifted the ban last night, and everyone can live normally. Zhou Wei expressed regret, but he was still optimistic about the success of the rebellion by the Prince of the Northern Territory. But I didn't expect that the Prince of the Northern Realm would not be favored by the mortal martial saint of Zhou, who still supported the foolish His Majesty. Li Changqing also sighed in his heart. His dream of becoming an old minister in the Second Dynasty was shattered. How could Your Majesty Zhou not die? End of this chapter Chapter 6 The Story of Zhou Wei You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 The Story of Zhou Wei The rebellion that swept through most of the Central Plains ended comically. The changes were too rapid, and Li Changqing didn't even react. Not only him, but also Zhou Wei. He was very disappointed, and after talking to Li Changqing, he sat there feeling down. It can be seen that he really wants the northern prince to win. He, like Li Changqing, hates that foolish ruler. Li Changqing and Zhou Wei sat together in the corner, looking at Zhou Wei in a low mood. Li Changqing reached out and patted his shoulder, saying, Do you hate this foolish ruler today? Zhou Wei nodded lightly and gritted his teeth, saying, I wish I could eat its meat raw. Hate so deeply. Li Changqing didn't say anything to comfort him, he just stayed with Zhou Wei and waited for him to speak up. Zhou Wei lowered his head and spoke softly, My surname is Zhou, and I am from the royal family of the great Zhou dynasty. Of course, our generation has long been out of the royal genealogy, just like ordinary people. I lived in Yangzhou before the age of eight, and my parents opened a rouge shop there. The business was good, so I have been living a luxurious life since I was young. My dad invited someone to teach me how to practice, but my aptitude was very poor. I jumped out of school at a young age and didn't want to practice martial arts. Instead, I liked reading books, but looking at it, I didn't like it that much anymore. At that time, life was quite comfortable. If nothing unexpected happened, I should have grown up happily, married a wife, had a few children, inherited the family business, and lived a safe and smooth life. But that year, the new emperor spent the eighth year after the Battle of Beimang. Unable to restrain his thoughts, he decided to visit Jiangnan and the first stop was Yangzhou. The emperor's travels were extremely luxurious, bringing a hundred concubines from the imperial harem to Yangzhou. The concubines needed to dress up, and the best rouge shop in Yangzhou city was my home. That year, I had the privilege of meeting His Majesty. Zhou Wei clenched his fists tightly, and although his words were light, he gritted his words deeply, lowering his head as if recalling that day. Li Changqing didn't disturb him and became a good listener. The concubines love my family's rouge very much, but the emperor questioned the quality of the rouge. My father applied the rouge to his face, saying that it was not a problem. But it was precisely this action that angered this capricious new emperor, who directly drew his sword and killed his father. Do you know what the reason is? He said that dad's rouge looks unsightly and dirties his eyes. Zhou Wei tried his best to suppress it, his veins bulging in his hands. Twelve years later, he still couldn't forget every scene of that day. Li Changqing was speechless. This is too absurd. Do you kill a man who looks ugly when he wears rouge? Desperate ruler. 
My mother trembled with fear when she saw this scene. She hugged me and covered my eyes, afraid to speak. Through the gaps between my fingers, I saw my father's dying eyes, as well as the arrogant and cheerful laughter of the foolish ruler. I want revenge, but unfortunately I couldn't learn martial arts. My mother died of depression later on, and my family was in dire straits. I could only rely on studying and passing the imperial examinations. I came to the imperial capital just to get closer to that foolish ruler. I know I can't get revenge, so I feel very sad. Until the northern realm prince rebelled, the situation was unstoppable, and the Zhou court was no match at all. I was very excited and kept inquiring about the news, hoping that the northern realm prince would succeed in killing that foolish ruler. But all of this turned into a beautiful dream in front of the mortal martial saint. Zhou Wei's mood is very depressed. If that mortal martial saint doesn't take action, there is a high probability that the northern realm prince will succeed. But unfortunately, the mortal martial saint still supports that foolish ruler. Li Changqing looked at Zhou Wei and patted his shoulder, saying softly, If you do anything unjust, you will die on your own. This foolish ruler has done so many bad things, and there are not many people who hope for his death. They will definitely succeed. Please be patient and wait. Zhou Wei nodded and said, I don't have a high ranking in the imperial examination, and my martial arts training is a mess. I'm not outstanding either. No one wants to be friends with me, only you. You have always been good to me, so I'm telling you these things. Li Changqing smiled and said, Don't worry, I won't say it out loud. Don't be sad either. If one northern realm prince falls, there will be other northern realm princes. This great Zhou has already been riddled with wounds. Can the martial saint of the mortal world repair it once? Can he repair it a hundred times? Li Changqing doesn't believe it at all. As long as that foolish ruler is still alive, this great weak is a sinking ship that cannot be saved at all. Comfort Zhou Wei for a while. After his emotions stabilized, Li Changqing returned to his side hall and sat at his desk, silently pondering. Now he understood why Zhou Wei was so excited during the days when the Northern Realm Prince committed the crime. It turned out that there was such a story behind it. Thinking back to my predecessor who had been studying hard for ten years and was the top scorer in high school, he had a bright future, but due to a sentence from his noble consort, the foolish ruler's jealousy erupted and he was sent here for no reason. This foolish ruler. Li Changqing firmly believes that he doesn't have many days to live. Based on the information he learned, the great Zhou was truly in turmoil, with a howl of sorrow in the country. There was also a North Mang army lurking in the north, and there was also a martial saint there, who was also the Hunyuan martial saint in command of the army. The prince of the northern realm was the first to rebel, definitely not the last. Although the rebellion of the northern realm prince failed, it does not mean that the impact he brought will immediately disappear, and everyone will be treated as nothing has happened, just like before. Once ambition is ignited, even a human martial saint cannot suppress it. Li Changqing continued to live his own life, fishing in the Hanlin courtyard and practicing martial arts in the small courtyard, strengthening himself. So and so, three days passed in a flash. In these three days, Li Changqing has been exercising his body, doubling his strength to reach the power of two ancient savage elephants. This is very terrifying, even for innate warriors, Li Changqing can now be hammered to death. Not to mention that he has committed thirteen murders. However, Li Changqing still did not feel proud and continued to silently improve. On this evening, Li Changqing got up on time and prepared to go home. Suddenly, Zhou Wei ran over with a joyful expression, as if there were some happy events. What happened so happy? Li Changqing asked with a smile. Zhou Wei sat down and said, Of course it's a good thing. Just now, that foolish gentleman issued an order. What command? Li Changqing looked at Zhou Wei. If it could make him so happy, it must be another absurd command. Zhou Wei happily whispered, Previously, 
when the northern prince rebelled and fought all the way, the local officials along the way surrendered unexpectedly. Now that the northern prince's rebellion has failed, the surrendering officials have jointly petitioned the court to open up the situation. But this despicable ruler said that as long as they are surrendered officials, regardless of age, everyone will be executed. Upon hearing these words, Li Changqing looked at Zhou Wei in shock and said, he's crazy. He's forcing people all over the world to rebel. Yes, that's why I'm happy. This foolish ruler is indeed crazy. This order was opposed by both civil and military officials in the entire court, but he killed a few people on the spot and everyone else shut up. It has already spread widely, Zhou Wei chuckled. Li Changqing was extremely speechless. Wouldn't this foolish ruler really think that a martial saint among people could protect him for a lifetime? I am looking for follow.up reading, recommendation tickets, monthly tickets, and investment. This book has already been signed. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 The Power of Ten Headed Elephants. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 7 the power of ten-headed elephants Li Changqing and Zhou Wei both believe that it is wrong for the foolish ruler to take this step. Those surrendering officials were all beheaded, leaving no one behind. Isn't this forcing them to rebel? So every time Li Changqing and Zhou Wei meet, they will first ask, did those people rebel? Zhou Wei worked hard to get information and was very diligent. Li Changqing stayed in the Hanlin Academy, quietly fishing. Now he is the pinnacle of martial arts, with terrifying power reaching the level of two ancient barbarian elephants. In his ordinary innate realm, he can be killed with just one punch. But these are not enough. The world is about to become completely chaotic, and he needs stronger strength. Although staying in the Hanlin Academy is safe, he still needs to continue improving himself. Next, the realm of innate martial artists. Acquired anti-innate requires a huge amount of spiritual energy to nourish every inch of the skin and exchange it for innate energy in the body. This way, the body's potential will be greater. Li Changqing is diligently improving himself while studying royal history books. He meditated in the morning, pondered in the evening, accompanied by the sun and moon, ascending alone. There have been many geniuses in the royal family of the Zhou dynasty, but not everyone can activate Li Changqing's understanding and defy the heavens. It doesn't matter if he doesn't activate it. He has read too much and will also realize it. Activating his understanding is against the heavens and the Tao, so Li Changqing didn't give up reading. Every biography is the life of a master, and for Li Changqing, reading the lives of these people can help him gain more precipitation. Some people are born heroes, immensely luxurious, and stand proudly above all living beings. Some people are amazed by their talent and envied by others, but the young man's extravagance harms Zhong Yong and disappears from the eyes of the world. Some people are clumsy birds who fly first, work hard, have firm goals, and thus walk out on a bright path. Every time Li Changqing finishes reading, he gains his own unique insights. He will accumulate insights and wait for the eruption. On this day, Li Changqing was revising history in the Hanlin Academy. Although he spends most of his time fishing every day, he still completes his job well and reads a personal biography of the royal family of the Zhou dynasty every day. When reading biographies, he watched very carefully how these people broke through their innate boundaries. After all, everyone is different and some people record it in their biographies, while others simply mention it. Today, this royal relative of Li Changqing wrote down his breakthrough experiences in his biography. Yes, in his later years, he wrote his personal biography with his own hands, documenting the journey of his heart and mind along the way. Every time he made a breakthrough, he recorded everything he encountered, no matter how big or small, for future reference. So this biography is very thick, five times that of the average person. But unfortunately, his descendants were not up to par, and within three generations, their family property was destroyed. Even the personal biography he personally wrote was sold for a cabbage price. 
Because the royal family of the Zhou dynasty had to revise history, this biography was bought back and presented to Li Changqing. Li Changqing watched carefully. This person's name is Zhou Quan, who was born over a hundred years ago. He has been practicing martial arts since childhood and has excellent talent. In the first half of his life, he did not encounter any difficulties, but he was quite nervous in his practice and walked through difficulties, especially when he broke through the innate realm after birth. In his biography, he himself said that from birth to birth, it actually depends on talent. The higher the talent, the easier it is for people to comprehend. As for what insights? Understanding the wind, understanding the clouds, understanding the rain, understanding the sword, understanding the sword anything that can give you insight into a corner of the world can be used for enlightenment. Finally, he also said, the acquired realm is actually laying the foundation. The stronger the foundation, the more stable the towering building you build. Once you break through the innate realm, the focus of cultivation is not on tormenting the body, but on comprehending martial arts. After reading these, Li Changqing gained a lot. He didn't have a master, and his cultivation relied entirely on his own exploration. Previously, he was still ignorant of the innate realm, but now he is more clear and clear. The book also says, the acquired realm is to endure the physical body, and the innate realm is to comprehend the martial arts path. These are two paths, and the vast majority of people take the second path, while the first path is to cultivate. No one has ever regarded the physical body as the first path. Upon seeing this, Li Changqing pondered and said, Now my physical endurance has been quite effective, with the power of two savage elephants. However, I feel that it is far from reaching its limit. I didn't feel it before, but now I can fully endurance my physical endurance to the limit, and then break through my innate abilities to comprehend martial arts. Others are all majoring in enlightenment and martial arts. It's not that important to endure the physical body in the later stage, but I don't want it to be like this. I also value the physical body. Understanding martial arts is essentially cultivating spiritual power, cultivating the power of the spiritual essence, and finally transcending the physical body, reaching the other shore, spiritual transcendence. Li Changqing didn't want to do this. He felt that the body and spirit were transcended together, and that was the complete self. The sea of suffering in the world, all beings are seeking liberation. I will use my body as the ship and the spirit as the rudder to cross the sea of suffering and reach the other shore. Li Changqing's gaze was firm, and he set the tone for his future cultivation. You have a clear understanding of the Tao and a strong mind. You have activated your understanding to go against the heavens and created the sutra on the other side of the bitter sea a large piece of information suddenly appeared in Li Changqing's mind. He carefully read it and in an instant, a sea of bitterness rose in the sea of consciousness. In that sea of bitterness, there was a world on the other side. The sutra of the other side of the bitter sea has extremely strong aggressiveness and can unleash a vast sea of bitterness, dragging people into it and devouring it. It can also summon the other side, confuse opponents, and reach the peak of cultivation. The other side of the bitter sea will truly envelop the world. After reading it, Li Changqing smiled and said, With this method, the innate realm is not just empty talk. If he wants, he can break through now. But Li Changqing was not in a hurry. He finished today's task, left the Hanlin Academy, returned to his own yard, and began to refine his body and strength. He also wants to continue enhancing his physical potential. Every day, he increased a little bit until three days later, when his strength broke through the power of the three-headed elephant. But it's not the limit yet. Li Changqing suppressed the impulse to break through and continued to accumulate. Anyway, in the Hanlin Academy, he is in no danger, doing two things every day, practicing martial arts, and waiting for the death of the foolish ruler. Every one or two days, Zhou Wei brings fresh news from various places, gathering in the imperial capital, with various religions and bustling streets. There is a lot of such news, true and false, spreading to people happily. Unfortunately, although officials from various regions were angry, 
no one wanted to be the first to stand up and rebel, and everyone was waiting. So and so, a month later, Li Changqing tortured his body to the extreme. The power of ten ancient barbarian elephants. Now he can finally say that in his innate realm, there is no more enemy of his unity. Ten ancient barbarian elephants rush out, is it something that a warrior from the innate realm can resist? End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Internal Information You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Internal Information As his own strength increased to the power of ten ancient barbarian elephants, Li Changqing finally couldn't suppress his realm and could break through at any time. The threshold from the acquired realm to the innate realm has become a thin layer of paper for Li Changqing. With just a gentle tap, you can break through this obstacle. Previously, Li Changqing wanted to reach the physical limit the day after tomorrow, but now it has been reached. With no regrets, he can break through now. Boom! Just a slight collision with true qi shattered the barrier of the innate realm. Subsequently, the spiritual energy of heaven and earth in the four fields was crazily absorbed, penetrating every inch of Li Changqing's skin and every pore. Of course, the largest part is still infused from Li Changqing's Tianling acupoint. Spiritual energy is in Li Changqing's body, transforming postnatal into innate, filling the Dantian in every cell. His strength, his realm, and his cultivation are all skyrocketing. Li Changqing was in the small courtyard, motionless like a mountain, with an unchanged face, allowing spiritual energy to ravage her body without any obstruction. His body is too strong, and the innate spiritual energy cannot disperse his body of ten ancient barbarian elephants. Even as the massive and vast spiritual energy engulfed his body, his power continued to surge. The Power of Eleven Ancient Elephants the power of twelve ancient barbarian elephants. The power of thirteen ancient barbarian elephants. Li Changqing is constantly becoming stronger, and the night is also constantly passing. That night, Li Changqing was surrounded by spiritual energy, his physical impurities were washed away, and his cloudy qi was improved the day after tomorrow. It wasn't until dawn that Li Changqing woke up and looked at the new world. Coincidentally, the first ray of morning light shone on Li Changqing's face, bathed in holy light. He smiled, clenched his fists hard, his muscles tense, and the air shook. At this moment, Li Changqing had the power of thirty ancient savage elephants. Without relying on true qi and martial arts techniques, Li Changqing can sweep everyone in the innate realm with his physical body alone. I have been in this world for almost half a year now, with a cultivation level of innate realm and the power of thirty ancient barbarians, which can be considered as a firm foothold. Li Changqing was very satisfied with his strength, got up to fetch water, poured it on his body, and washed away the fatigue of the night. He changed his clothes and got up to go to the Hanlin Academy. Although he has achieved some success in strength now, Li Changqing remains low. Key. He doesn't want to give up on such a leisurely matter at the Hanlin Academy. Upon arriving at the Hanlin Academy, Li Changqing met Zhou Wei and his first question was, has anyone rebelled? Zhou Wei nodded excitedly and pulled Li Changqing aside, whispering, a few days ago, the Yellow River burst its embankment and submerged countless villages. The people suffered heavy casualties, and the crops suffered heavy losses. However, the officials did not care, and the people were filled with resentment. At that moment, a huge stone man rushed out of the Yellow River, and with one eye, the stone man could see the world. There was a nursery rhyme circulating among the people, M.O. Daosher, with one eye, stirred up rebellion in the Yellow River. Li Changqing's face turned strange. The ability of the laboring masses from different worlds to rebel and promote propaganda was similar. Did anyone actually rebel? Li Changqing asked. After this nursery rhyme spread, dozens of uprising teams immediately rose up on both sides of the Yellow River. In just a few days, uprising teams from all over the country came in a continuous stream, and the government could not suppress them. The officials who the foolish ruler wanted to kill had also joined different uprising armies. 
In just a few days, the Zhou Empire had completely collapsed. Zhou Wei said happily, he only wanted to see the foolish ruler die. After listening, Li Changqing sighed and said, even with the intervention of the martial saint this time, the Zhou Empire cannot be saved. The people's hearts have already dispersed. This foolish ruler is finally going to bury the 800-year-old foundation of the Zhou dynasty, Zhou Wei said in a complex tone. Be careful these days. You've been frantically inquiring about news lately, but many people have noticed that the empire is about to fall, the foolish ruler is going crazy, and villains are breeding. Be careful not to be dragged in, Li Changqing said with concern. Zhou Wei has indeed shown too much performance in the past six months, as anyone with a heart can see. I know, I'll be careful lately. Zhou Wei nodded, but his expression was clearly not heard. He is now immersed in the joy of the fallen ruler and doesn't care about anything else. He wants to enjoy the dying melody of the foolish king's death. Li Changqing was also difficult to persuade, so he separated from Zhou Wei and returned to his side hall to continue his fishing work. He doesn't have as much hatred as Zhou Wei. Although he hates this foolish ruler, Li Changqing won't change his life for him. Knowing that his time was running out, Li Changqing no longer paid attention and focused on his cultivation. I don't know if the Yellow River Stone Man was born, which made everyone anxious. No one focused on studying history, only Li Changqing. He carefully read the personal biographies of the royal family of the Zhou dynasty, and there are really many outstanding talents. But the more I looked at Li Changqing, the more puzzled I became. How did this foolish ruler ascend to the throne today? For this reason, Li Changqing also carefully reviewed other literature and found that the current emperor was originally born to the most favored concubine of the late emperor. He was greatly favored from birth, but he was not skilled in literature and martial arts, had a love for women, and had no ambition. Almost no one would have thought of him inheriting the throne. At that time, everyone favored the youngest son of the Northern Realm Prince. The inheritance of the Zhou dynasty's throne does not necessarily require passing from father to son, but also depends on whether there are more outstanding offspring among the royal family. The royal relatives of the Zhou dynasty were a great force, and at that time, as long as the youngest son of the Northern Realm Prince was alive, it was impossible for this foolish ruler to exist. So, he was assassinated. Then this foolish ruler ascended to the throne with the support of the human martial saint of the great Zhou dynasty. Shortly after, he launched a million-strong army to attack Bei Mang and kill Zhou Yun. However, upon his return, he was only punished by the human martial saint to kneel in the ancestral temple and continue to be emperor. Why has the mortal martial saint of this great week always supported the foolish ruler? He cannot fail to see the temperament of the foolish ruler. Li Changqing felt very strange and couldn't figure it out. Just as Li Changqing was confused, Zhou Wei suddenly ran over and whispered, I just received some shocking news. What news? Li Changqing looked at Zhou Wei eagerly. After the birth of the Yellow River Stone Man, there were uprising armies in various places, which received support from different forces. There were millennial families and top sects, and they were no longer silent. They emerged one after another, intending to overthrow the rule of the tyrant of the Zhou dynasty. With the fate of these top forces, many internal news spread, among which the most important was about the foolish ruler and the human martial saint of the Zhou dynasty. Zhou Wei lowered his voice. Li Changqing listened attentively and was very curious. He was just guessing why the human martial saint had always supported the foolish ruler. This news comes from the Luochuan sect. It is said that the foolish ruler was not actually a child of the late emperor, but a child born from the adultery between the mortal martial saint and the late emperor's favorite concubine. That is why the mortal martial saint has always supported him, and even said that the youngest son of the northern realm prince was killed by this mortal martial saint. Zhou Wei's words widened Li Changqing's eyes. I see. At this moment, Li Changqing's doubts could be explained. A martial saint on earth cannot fail to see the temperament of a foolish ruler. 
But that was his son, and it was a child born when he was very old. So he spoils very much. My son wanted to become emperor, so he killed the most outstanding genius in the Zhou royal family. My son wanted to conquer the northern Mang, so he convinced the major generals to gather a million to go on the expedition. The northern prince rebelled and decisively took action to kill him. Everything is protecting his son. As for the state of De Zhou, is it important to have his son? End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Zhou Wei Captured. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 9 Zhou Wei captured the news brought by Zhou Wei was very shocking. Who would have thought that the foolish ruler was actually the illegitimate son of a martial saint in the mortal world of the Zhou royal family? Isn't this a green hat for the late emperor? Also, how did the Luochuan sect know? This kind of thing should be kept very confidential, only a few people know about it, and there is also the assassination of the youngest son of the northern realm prince. Since it is the action of the human martial saint, even fewer people know about it. How did the northern prince know after twenty years? At this moment, Li Changqing thought a lot. These things may not seem obvious on their own, but when combined, they can be problematic. Firstly, the prince of the northern realm suddenly received important evidence from twenty years ago, rebelled, and demanded an explanation from the incompetent ruler. Where did the evidence come from? It was given by the Luochuan sect. Now he personally stepped down again, supporting the uprising army, and revealing the relationship between the foolish ruler and the mortal martial saint, spreading it throughout the world, tearing down the last fig leaf of the Zhou Empire. The step dot by dot step layout of the Luochuan sect clearly has plans to compete for the world. But these have nothing to do with Li Changqing, after all, when the Zhou Empire falls, someone must rise up. No matter who dominates this land, he just wants to become a historian in the Hanlin Academy and silently practice. However, Zhou Wei was very happy. Anyway, whoever knocked out the emperor, he would help them. After telling Li Changqing these news, he went out to inquire about other information. He was so happy that he looked like a little horse, which made Li Changqing frown. If this continues, there will be problems. The Zhou Empire is about to come to an end, but the hundred-legged insect is dead and not stiff. At least it can drag on for a while. Zhou Wei should calm down. Li Changqing decided to persuade Zhou Wei to calm down and keep a low profile for a while tomorrow. After all, Zhou Wei is his only friend in this world, and Li Changqing doesn't want anything to happen to him. Returning to his yard, Li Changqing began to practice. The innate realm is different from the acquired one. The acquired one focuses on refining the body, while the innate one focuses on refining the spirit. The innate realm is divided into innate yin spirit, innate yang spirit, and innate primordial spirit. These three realms all focus on the spiritual cultivation of practitioners. Li Changqing is not even an innate yin spirit now. He needs to first gather his elemental spirit, then leave his body and walk in the dark night, which is the realm of yin spirit. The innate yang god needs to walk during the day without being harmed. As for the end, the unity of yin and yang achieves the supreme essence, controls martial arts, and achieves true self. Next, break through the realm of a master. Li Changqing sat cross-legged, silently meditating and practicing the great Zhou Wu Jing. In the great Zhou Wu Jing, there is a cultivation method of innate realm. Imagine the true martial emperor, gather the power of the primordial spirit, and then jump out of the body. This is what Li Changqing is currently practicing. That night, he carefully observed and the power of the primordial spirit surged, solidifying a bit. The next morning, Li Changqing finished washing up and walked on the street. Chaos. Disordered. Fear. This is a true portrayal of the people of the imperial capital. Outside the imperial capital now, dozens of uprisings rise up every day, some of them are people who cannot survive, some are local tycoons, and some are aristocratic families. 
Now that everyone can see that the great Joe Mansion is leaning, and another chaotic era is about to come, why not take advantage of it to gain more benefits? So these uprisings are like mushrooms after rain, constantly emerging. The news reached the imperial capital, causing panic among the people. This time, it seemed even more dangerous than the time when the northern prince was present. The court wanted to suppress it, strictly prohibiting discussions among the people, and even sending troops to patrol, so the imperial capital is not in chaos yet. The more it is like this, the more panicked the people are and the crazier their private discussions become. Li Changqing was walking when he suddenly saw a soldier ahead catching someone. Dare, dare to privately discuss your majesty, spread rumors, attempt to overthrow our Zhou Empire, arrest. The soldier shouted angrily, dragging a chubby man, disregarding the others crying and begging for mercy, shackled himself, and dragged him into prison with an iron chain. When the people around saw this scene, they dared not speak and quickly returned home with their heads down. After those soldiers left, there were only a few people whispering. The arrest has already begun, it's just a few words of discussion. How many comments? Not to mention ordinary people, those officials have been arrested quite a few times. Now they are in a state of panic and try not to speak. I see, it's time for this big week too. Be cautious. Stop talking, go home, go home. A few people hurriedly left, their backs rustling. Li Changqing watched silently, thinking of Zhou Wei. The situation is tense now, and we really need to hold on to Zhou Wei. Quickly, he arrived at the Hanlin Academy and was about to go find Zhou Wei, but he heard a burst of insults. You, illiterati, dare to spread rumors and shake people's hearts everywhere if you don't study history well. It's damn it. Your Majesty has ordered that you, like a person without a ruler or father, should be punished one by one and repent in prison. A group of soldiers escorted a literati, punched and kicked them out, put on shackles under the gaze of other literati, and cursed fiercely. Li Changqing fixed her gaze and furrowed her brows. Sure enough, she was holding on to Zhou Wei. Say, do you still have any accomplices? A soldier grabbed Zhou Wei's hair and asked fiercely. As soon as these words were spoken, the literati in the Hanlin Academy quickly retreated, distancing themselves from any contact. Zhou Wei was beaten very miserably, with blood all over his body and a dejected expression. However, when he saw Li Changqing, his expression shook and he immediately shouted, Pu, you nonsense have no king or father. This foolish ruler is not worthy of being my lord's father. I will do things alone, and I just want to make him die. Be reckless, take them back to the prison, torture them severely, and be sure to ask for accomplices, a burly general angrily said, waving his hand and fainting Zhou Wei. Li Changqing looked at the general expressionlessly. Breath is not weak, innate realm, can be extinguished with a flick of a finger. He looked around at the numerous literati in the Han Forest Academy with arrogance and said, Listen to me, general. Do your own thing well, don't talk about your majesty behind your back, otherwise you will end up like him, and you will die very tragically. The group of literati had a solemn expression, some nodding their heads without speaking. The burly general sneered and dragged Zhou Wei away, as if dragging a dead dog. Li Changqing watched calmly without any action. After the general left, he approached the supervisor and said that he was not feeling well and requested a day off. The supervisor is getting annoyed and waved his hand to let Li Changqing leave. Don't disturb him. Li Changqing silently left the Hanlin Academy and walked on the streets of the imperial capital. He saw many soldiers shuttling around, arresting people everywhere, suppressing public opinion, and trying to stop the rumors. The defense of the people is better than the defense of the river. This should be the last madness of a foolish ruler, murmured Li Changqing. He watched from a distance as groups of people from the Nordic countries were captured in the dungeon, crying loudly but to no avail. Zhou Wei is also among them. Li Changqing turned around and found a clothing shop. He borrowed a nightwear and threw down a few pieces of silver to cover his face. He wants to rescue Zhou Wei, 
send him out of the city, and save his life. When Li Changqing disguised himself and prepared to take action, he suddenly saw several waves of black-clad men rushing towards the prison. This left him stunned. 6,000 word update, ticket request, collection, investment, end of this chapter. Chapter 10 Mr. Chen You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Mr. Chen It turns out that he is not the only one who wants to rob the prison. Suddenly, several groups of people in black rushed out, causing the prison guards to panic and be instantly pushed away. The people in black entered the prison together. Upon seeing this, Li Changqing followed closely behind and thought to himself, it's okay to do this. No matter who these black-clothed people are trying to save, just fish in troubled waters and rescue Zhou Wei. Everyone is wearing night clothes and covering their faces, how do you know I'm not with them? Li Changqing acted quickly, with surging strength rising within his body. This was the first time he had exerted his power, and he was excited and slowly adapting. The prison is very foul-smelling, and there are countless people who cry out for justice. Some have been beaten all over with blood, some have solidified into scabs, some are still losing blood, some are on the brink of death, and some are lying down in despair. A prison cell was so large, but it was crowded with ten or twenty prisoners, emitting a foul odor that reminded Li Changqing of the pig farm in his hometown when he was a child. The prison has more than one layer, three layers in total, each with hundreds of cells, and now they are all packed. The people in black acted quickly and rushed in to kill the soldiers guarding them. Their methods were swift and ruthless, including cutting their throats, piercing their hearts, and twisting their necks, all of which were fatal blows. Ordinary guard soldiers are no match for these people, and the first level guards are quickly resolved. The prisoners in the prison were excited, crying and begging for mercy, asking the man in black to help them out. The people in black turned a deaf ear and diligently searched for the person they wanted to save in the dungeons. Li Changqing found that these black-clothed people all have cultivation in their bodies, most of them are in the acquired realm, and a few are in the innate realm, belonging to the leadership. They advanced quickly, but only killed some ordinary guards who were responsible for daily management and had little power. As the commotion grew louder, cultivators appeared in the prison. Dare, dare to break into the prison and rob, life is so tired and crooked. With a loud shout, an innate martial artist rushed out, his big hands like a fan, carrying true chi, and fiercely slapped, directly knocking a black-clothed man out and crashing into a stone wall, his breath withering and dying. You go to the second level to find the money master, take him out, and we'll give you the rear. Suddenly, a black-clothed man from the innate realm approached Li Changqing and said, then turned around to face the innate realm guard who had just taken action. Li Changqing doesn't know what to say, is this treating him like his own person? But the key is, who is Mr. Qian? He doesn't know. Watching the two innate warriors engage in a fierce battle, Li Changqing didn't waste any time. He quickly searched for Zhou Wei's trace in the prison. Eyes burning with flames, looking at the cells one by one, Zhou Wei was not noticed. Is it on the second floor? Li Changqing frowned and looked at the increasing number of soldiers on the prison long street behind him. He knew there was not much time and did not delay, so he went straight to the entrance of the second floor. There are two innate realm warriors guarding here. They stared at Li Changqing, their eyes teasing and calm, sneering, I had long guessed that you villains were coming to save Qian Gu Lao. Set up ten ambushes and let our brothers guard the entrance to the second floor. We will definitely catch you all today. Under the night clothes, Li Changqing frowned. It seemed that the prison was not unprepared at all. It seemed like a trap, and he must seize the time. No nonsense, if someone is blocking the way, then it's clear. In an instant, Li Changqing's qi, blood, and wolf smoke surged and rushed forward. Thirty ancient barbarian elephants unleashed their power, and he punched each of the two innate warriors. Bang! Bang! The dull sound of armor piercing hit the two innate warriors, who had no resistance and were directly thrown away, 
spraying blood from their mouths as if it were rain, mixed with internal organs, and died instantly. The martial artist in the innate realm could not withstand a single punch from Li Changqing's thirty ancient barbarian elephants. Li Changqing looked like a ghost, not even looking at them, and went straight to the second floor. The second layer is much smaller and darker, and there are also fewer dungeons. The prisoners here are quite serious. Li Changqing entered here and was immediately discovered, but without waiting for them to shout, he was knocked unconscious the next second. Li Changqing quickly checked the people in the prison. He had good eyes, and after looking for a while, he noticed Zhou Wei. He was beaten badly and thrown into a two-person cell, with swollen cheeks and a low mood. The person who lived with him in the same cell was an elderly man with silver hair all over his head, dressed in prison uniform, without any signs of torture, with an extraordinary demeanor. Even if he was imprisoned, his expression was quite calm. He noticed Li Changqing and quickly waved to him, pointing to the iron lock on the prison door and saying, Open it quickly, let's go out, we can't waste time. Li Changqing blinked his eyes and knew that this was Mr. Qian, the group of people in black who wanted to save him. It is obvious that Mr. Qian also regarded Li Changqing as his savior. Li Changqing didn't expect him to be with Zhou Weiguan. It's really fate. He didn't explain took a step forward and decisively opened the prison door wrapped in an iron lock. In front of the power of thirty ancient savage elephants, the so dot called iron lock is a piece of tofu. Mr. Qian looked at Li Changqing with surprise and quickly left the cell, then clenched his fists and said, This hero, this scholar has been wrongly accused. Please also rescue him so that we can accumulate more talents for the uprising army. Li Changqing didn't say a word, just picked up Zhou Wei on his back and walked away with great strides. He was originally going to save Zhou Wei. He just didn't expect that Zhou Wei would be appreciated by Lord Qian and wanted to save him. It seems that Mr. Qian is still related to the rebel army. No wonder he was imprisoned on the second floor. Li Changqing's thoughts turned and his footsteps flew fast, reaching the first level of the prison. Mr. Qian followed Li Changqing out and saw more than twenty innate warriors surrounding the man in black. There are only five innate experts among the black clothed people, which can be said to be in danger. They are surrounded in the middle and have nowhere to escape. The innate experts in the dungeon all looked at it jokingly, as if looking at toys, not in a hurry to kill. When Li Changqing and Mr. Qian appeared, everyone's gaze turned to them. What if you find Qian Gulao? Can you still escape from the prison? The burly general who entered the Hanlin Academy this morning to arrest Zhou Wei sneered. A good old man, why support the rebel army? A congenital general asked in confusion. Do you really think that the rebel army composed of muddy legs can successfully overthrow me, Zhou? Gulao, when you were young, you were the smartest person in the world, but when you got old, you became the dumbest person. Today, you will all die here, not a single one will escape. Take your heads as our promotion credit. Twenty or so innate experts, you speak and I speak, mocking them. Mr. Qian had a serious expression on his face. Just as he was about to say something, Li Changqing put Zhou Wei down and asked Mr. Qian to help him, then walked towards more than twenty innate experts. Hero Mr. Qian quickly shouted, not wanting Li Changqing to die. But the next second, he was so surprised that he couldn't close his mouth. Thank you very much, dear voters, end of this chapter.